Hey, hi, Macha. Hey, hi, man. See, this one is a regular speaker. I want you to convert this into a Bluetooth speaker. Can you do it? Oh, you want to convert it into a Bluetooth speaker. That's all right. It's easy, man. But you know what? The maximum I can spend is 500 rupees on the speaker. If I want to spend more, I would rather buy a Bluetooth speaker itself. Can you do it with just 500 rupees? Oh, you can spend only 500 rupees, huh? Okay, I'll do it. Hello people, I am Veda and welcome to Very Random Creation. Today, we are asked to upgrade a regular speaker into a Bluetooth speaker. In this video, first we'll be creating a schematics to convert a regular speaker into a Bluetooth speaker. Then we'll straight away jump into the conversion part of converting a regular speaker into a Bluetooth speaker. Let's jump right into it now. This one is the power supply of the speaker and as you can see, this outputs a 12 volt AC power supply. Let's use that as a base for our schematics, which acts as an input 12 volt AC. First, we'll be needing a bridge rectifier to convert this alternating current into a direct current. Then, we'll be needing a regulator to step down the 12 volt DC into a 5 volt DC. The 5 volt DC will be given as an input to the MH M28 wireless Bluetooth audio receiver board, which will be given as an input to the speaker through the 3.5 mm jack present in the Bluetooth receiver board. This is the wireless audio Bluetooth receiver board which I was mentioning earlier. This will be used to receive the audio via Bluetooth. As I mentioned earlier, this can be powered by a 5 volt DC power. First, let's cut open the power cord and then solder some external wire to it. I'll be using this heatsink tube to nicely enclose it. Once the wires are twisted, now we need to solder them together. Let me apply some flux first and then I'll solder it. Let's seal it nicely using the heatsink tube. Now I'm using a multimeter to check the output power. I'm setting it at AC and let me check the power. Yeah, we are getting 13.4 volt AC. Now let's make a bridge rectifier. To make it, first we'll be needing these four 1N4007 1W diode. Then we'll be needing two capacitors, one of 1 microfarad capacity and the other one is of 10 microfarad capacity. These will be used to filter out the high frequency and low frequency noise in the bridge rectifier. Then we'll be using this L7805 ABB linear voltage regulator to step down the 12V DC from these diodes into a 5V DC. And finally, this is the MHM28 Bluetooth receiver board. As you can see, this one requires a 5V input. And we also have a 3.5 mm jack, which will be used as the input for our speaker. Now, let's build a rectifier. I just googled how to build a rectifier and looks like we need to connect the four diodes as shown here. I have made the same connection in the breadboard where these four diodes make a bridge rectifier. These two black wires is actually the AC input which is coming from the power supply and that is rectified into a DC power with the output positive and negative which is given as the input to this linear voltage regulator and we have placed two capacitors in the input to filter out the high frequency and low frequency noise. Let's throw this unwanted resistor out. Now let's power it up and see if we are getting a 5 volt output at these leads. Pakka, we are getting 5 volts here. It means that the bridge rectifier is working. Now let's solder everything together using a perf board. I have placed the components onto this perf board. Let's solder them together. Now let's add the capacitors and the linear voltage regulator. We have added the other components and now let's test it out. I have set the multimeter to DC. Ah, uh, yep, we are getting 5 volt DC here. Awesome, it works. Now what's left is we need to give this 5 volt output as the input to this Bluetooth receiver board. Yep, I have soldered a wire connecting the Bluetooth receiver board and the rectifier. Let's power it on and check it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Looks like I fucked it up guys. So here is actually the 12 volt line and this is the 5 volt line. My dumb supplied 12 volt and fried this board. Now this Bluetooth receiver board is just a useless piece of 
Hey, hi, if you stayed this far, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel, you know? You don't have to if you don't want to, but honestly, I want you to subscribe. This is the older Frider board, let's throw it away. And this is the alternate board which I bought from the SP Road. So this one is the HW770 Bluetooth receiver board. I'm going to use this 5 volt charger to power this board. The HWBT is the Bluetooth from this board and once the blinking stops that means the Bluetooth is connected. I have changed the 12V to 5V in this rectifier. Now let's solder this wire to the new Bluetooth receiver board. Now let's power using the power supply. The light is glowing and yep the Bluetooth is connected. Cool. Now let's build an enclosure for this. Ah, magic! Huh. Trust me guys, it didn't take me a lot of failed 3D prints to achieve this enclosure, you know. Anyways, the enclosure is here and this is a snap-in connector. We need to push it in to open the lid. Let's pass the power supply wire from this end and fasten it to the terminal block. I have pasted a double side tape onto the Bluetooth board to fix it nicely onto the enclosure. Let's remove the tape first and then place the Bluetooth board into the enclosure. Okay, the components are assembled. Now let's close the lid. Since our Bluetooth speaker contains two 3.5 mm jack as input, I'm using the splitter to split the output from the Bluetooth receiver board. Let's connect the splitter onto the Bluetooth receiver board and then we will connect the 3.5 mm jacks onto the splitter. Yep, the connections are done and now this should work actually. Let's call our friend and tell that it's ready. Hey, hi man. Hey, hi man. Hey, is the speaker ready? Yep, your speaker is ready. And this is your regular speaker, which is converted into a Bluetooth speaker. How does it work? Oh, so basically this one contains the Bluetooth receiver board. So as you can see here, this is the 12 volt AC power supply, which is used to power the speaker. This is converted into a 5V DC which is given as an input to the Bluetooth receiver board. This receiver board contains 3.5mm jack as an output. Close this one first. This is your speaker's input and this has two 3.5mm jack and I have used the splitter to split the single input into two outputs. So I have connected the two 3.5mm jacks here and I have connected the splitter here. Now, let's power this. The device is connecting us successfully. The device is connected. This is the Bluetooth device name of this. I'm going to play one of my favorite songs here. So, all four speakers is working. It's a tiny catch actually. So this is the initial board which I used but I burned this board and this costed around 150 rupees. Nah 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 nah. I'm not paying for your ignorance. You need to own your own mistakes. Okay? Okay. Valid. It was my mistake and I will accept it. Okay? So how much did it cost? Oh, this one. Huh? The Bluetooth receiver board is around 120 bucks. The rectifier is also around 150 to 200 and the splitter is around 50 rupees. So the total was around 400 to 500 rupees, which is lesser than what you asked for. Awesome. You made it in less than 500, just like I asked. Take it, man. It's all yours. Thanks again for making it in less than 500, man. I'll take it. Thanks again for staying this far and a sub to the channel would really motivate me in making more content like this. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. The algorithm needs this engagement, you know. I'll meet you with a different creation next time. Until then, stay creative. A creation created for creators.